So I wanted to show you guys this spot right here behind me because this is a spot where uh, I was out with my friend Ed uh, several years ago. I don't, I don't know how long ago, but we were out here and at night and we we're actually looking for a spectacle caiman. That's another invasive species out here. We didn't see any here, but we did see were three pythons right here. And so the first two were actually underwater right here behind me. And it was really cool because, I mean, they were completely submerged. I had to, like, go in, and it was, like, like thigh-high deep and actually uh, caught one of them under the water. Ed caught another one, and then we were like, Dude, this is a good spot. <laughs> so we had a canoe with us for trying to capture the caiman. So we put the canoe in the water, and we went down a little ways right here to look around. And then while we were down there, I then spotted a bigger python. And the first two were probably, like, I, I think, like, seven, eight feet but then the larger one we found further down was like an 11 foot python. And uh, it was fully submerged in the water. I just saw its head sticking out. And so I was in the front of the canoe. And so I grabbed it by the head and then it's coiled up inside uh, all the vegetation underwater and it starts pulling us down. And then it's pulling the front of the canoe down like in the water, almost like we were just a few inches above the water where the water's gonna start coming in the canoe, almost sunk us. And so that was like really cool, really exciting. That was literally right back over there. So uh, I'm gonna explore this area, walk around a little bit and see if we can see any other pythons here. I mean, it's, it's obviously a good spot. I found him here before, so good time to try again. Okay, so <laughs> I didn't have the camera rolling, but look at this. So I just found this very large python. It was basking up on the side. Uh, the head's in there. Uh, yeah, I gotta get this. Uh, I don't know what to do with my phone. Um, I'm gonna try to set my phone back against my bag. Hopefully that works. Oh, come on. Don't poop on me. It's gotta be like a, like a 12, 13 foot python. It's a really thick python. Let's see if I can show the size. Without getting bit. So that's my size 13 boot next to that snake. It's definitely a good size snake. Thing's gotta be like, whoa. I don't know, I wanna say it's at least like 12, 13, but it's thick. It's gotta be, over, I don't know, it's gotta be over 50 pounds. Here, it hissing too. So, it seems like it's calmed down a bit. There's fighting it in the grass there. So I'm gonna try to get my GoPro and do the head mount on my GoPro. Cause right now I'm doing one hand with a phone and that's just not working out. So let's try to do some GoPro with this. Okay, so hopefully you guys can hear me. The snake is just sitting there right now, hissing. Um, got my bags over here. So I'm gonna have to double bag them. That snake's big. So I also have electrical tape because I don't, I, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tie a knot around it. So I'm gonna try, but um, yeah, I guess here goes nothing. It's gonna be really fun to wrangle that by myself.
I want that head out a little bit more. So I gotta grab it right behind the head. See the tail creeping off too? Just thinking about trying to go out that way. So I wanna get it right by the head there without hitting that coil of the body right there too. So maybe if I get it to strike out at me. Injury in the top of the head. Oh, that's like a piece of bone right there from an injury in the top of the head. It's a brand new bag. I got my dirty old bag too. So I'm gonna grab the head from the other side of the bag. So now I have it, so I can't come flying back out. I'm gonna try to get the body up in there. Easier said than done. Just gonna tape it. 